46th question the ionization energy of an electron in the ground state of helium atom is 26 24.6 eV this is helium atom there are th two electrons if one electron is removed then this becomes single electron system single electron system means we can apply Bohr's atomic model and energy is given by minus m z square e power 4 8 epsilon naught square n square h square for hydrogen z equal to 1 for helium z equal to 2 so this is 2 square 4 so z square is 4 whereas energy required to remove an electron from hydrogen atom is minus 13.6 for hydrogen atom minus 13.6 so energy required to remove an electron from helium ion helium plus is 13.6 into 4 let this be approximately 14 14 4 56 <laughs> therefore initial energy is 24.6 this is energy re required to remove one electron energy required to remove the other electron is 56 so this sum is approximately 80 EV 80 this 75 is closer to 80 next 47 3E 5E by 3E figure shows energy levels level of certain atom when the electron the excites from 3e to e 3e to e the difference is 2e and lambda corresponding lambda is wavelength is lambda okay so 2e is proportional to 1 by lambda what is the wavelength of the electromagnetic wave emitted when the electron de excited from 5 to this this difference is 5 by 2 5 by 3 minus 1 equal to 2 by 3 e so 2 by 3 e is proportional to 1 by lambda prime so divide on by the other sorry 2 3 e by 2 e equal to 1 by lambda prime by 1 by lambda okay e e get cancels 2 e 2 e get cancels so lambda equal to lambda prime equal to lambda into 3 maximum velocity of photo electrons emitted by a metal is 1.8 10 power 6 meter per second specific charge is 1.8 10 power 11 coulomb per kg stopping potential stopping potential is vs charge into stopping potential is kinetic energy which is half mv square this is e by e but it is half 1 over e by m into v square equal to half this is stopping potential 1 by specific charge is mentioned 1.8 10 power 11 10 power 11 v square 1.8 10 power 6 1.8 10 power 6 1.8 10 power 6 since it is v square twice this get cancels with this 2 1 2.9 into 10 power 6 10 power 6 10 power 12 11 is 10 power 1 which is 9 9 Lambda 1 and lambda 2 are used to eliminate the slits. Beta 1, beta 2 are corresponding fringe bits. The wavelength lambda 1 can produce photoelectric effect. But wavelength lambda 2 cannot produce. Lambda 1 can produce. Lambda 2 cannot produce means lambda 2 should be greater than <coughs> excuse me. Lambda 2 should be greater than lambda 1. 
but fringe width is proportional to lambda because fringe width is lambda capital D by small d nothing but beta 1 is greater than beta 2 is greater than beta 1 take out the correct statement from the following electron emission during beta decay is always accompanied by neutrino no because there are three types of electron emission first type is beta minus second type is beta plus third type is electron capture electron capture in this electron capture there is no emission of beta sorry neutrino nuclear force is charge independent true fusion is the chief source of stellar energy true since b and c are true b and c fourth a nucleus emits an alpha particle with velocity v the recoil speed of daughter nucleus is this is nucleus if this emits an alpha this is alpha then momentum carried by alpha equal to momentum carried by the daughter nucleus daughter nucleus momentum of alpha means mass of alpha alpha is 2 he4 there are four nucleons therefore four times velocity is v but recall speed of the daughter nucleus is v dash if this nucleus emits an alpha then the data nucleus will be y z minus 2 a minus 4 there are a minus 4 nucleons therefore a minus 4 the recoil speed of the data nucleus is so v dash equal to recoil speed equal to 4 v by a minus 4 4 v by a minus 4 52 a radioactive substance emits 100 beta particles in first two seconds and 50 beta particles in next two seconds two seconds two seconds therefore half life is two seconds okay 100 to 50 in two seconds means half life is two seconds the mean life of the sample half life is 2.693 by lambda mean life is 1 by lambda implies half life equal to 693 1 by lambda is nothing but mean life this is t mean life half life is 2 second 2 second therefore it is 2 pi 0 0.693 equal to t mean therefore 2 by 0 0.693 which of the following statements the obtained to the obtained impure semiconductor is p type p type p type means positive type means trivalent impurity should be added trivalent bismuth antimony phosphorus these are pentavalent this is the trivalent this is the trivalent impurity okay the width of depletion region in a pn junction diode is increased by reverse bias true increased by forward bias no decreased by reverse bias no independent of bias voltage wrong when a trans when the transistor is used as an amplifier if this is a transistor emitter base collector this junction should be forward bias and this junction should be reverse bias so emitter base junction is forward bias base collector junction is reverse bias emitter base junction must be for reverse bias no emitter base junction must be forward bias yes collector base junction forward bias no emitter reverse no emitter this should be correct 56 which of the following is not made by quarks quarks out of syllabus which one of the following is not correct in forward bias condition diode conducts yes if the packing fraction is negative the element is stable yes binding energy is the energy equivalent of mass defect yes 
radioactive element can undergo spontaneous fission. No. Therefore, this is the option. The output of an OR gate is connected to both the inputs of an AND gate. This is OR gate. This is connected to a NAND gate. The combination will serve as this behaves like NOT gate. So OR gate is connected to NOT gate means resultant is NOR gate. A and B are two radioactive elements. The mixture of these two elements show a total activity of 1200 disintegrations per minute. Half life of A is one day and B is two days. What will be the activity after four days? Okay, initial number of atoms of A is A and B are equal. Activity equal to lambda n, but half life equal to 0.693 by lambda so these two are inversely proportional therefore activity is inversely proportional to 1 by half life whereas n is a constant okay therefore activity of a by activity of b actually this is initial activity initial activity of b equal to half life of b half life of a half life of b is two days half life of a is one day this implies that activity of a is two times activity of b okay now total activity total activity equal to total activity equal to activity of A plus activity of B. This is initial activity of A plus initial activity of B. But activity of A is 2 times activity of B, 2 times activity of B plus activity of B. This total activity is 1200 implies initial activity of B equal to 1 plus 2 plus 1 3 400 and activity of A equal to 800 okay fine now n equal to n naught by 2 to the power of n this relation we know similarly this can also be written as mass remaining mass equal to initial mass by 2 to the power of n this is also true with respect to activity. So activity equal to initial activity by 2 to the power of n. Now for element A, half life of A is 1 day. Half life of A is 1 day. Therefore activity equal to initial activity of A. Initial activity of A is 800 by 2 to the power of. So the question is, what is the total activity after 4 days? After 4 days, okay. But half life is 1 day. Therefore, there are 4 half lives. So, 2 to the power of 4 equal to 800 by 2 to the power of 2 is 2 to the power of 2, 2 to the power of 2, 4 into 4. 4, 200, this 50. Similarly, for element B, half life is 2 days and activity equal to initial number is 400 400 by 2 to the power of after 4 days it is after 4 days therefore there are two half lives 2 to the power of 2 equal to 100 therefore total activity after 4 days is 150 150 
I hope you can see the entire solution. Pause the video and work it out. Okay. The binding energy per nucleon of deuterium is 1.1 and helium 4 is 7 MeV respectively. If two deuteron atoms fuse to form single helium, so 1 H2 plus 1 H2 leading to 2 He4, this is mentioned, okay. Specific binding energy is 1.1, 1.1 into 2 times is 2.2 plus this is also 2.2. But helium 4 is 7. 7 into 4, 28. Therefore, it is 28 minus 2.2 plus 2.2 is 4.4, which is 23.6 MeV.